Good morning and welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. I just got back from my walk. I just finished my protein coffee that I shared with you in the little clips before my walk this morning. I got ready for the day. It is Saturday that I'm filming today's video because I'm actually filming to what I eat in a day this week so that I have a video of what I eat in a day going up for you guys next Wednesday when I am laying on the beach in Hawaii. So I am filming two what I eat in a days, one today and one as usual on Monday. So it is currently Saturday that I'm filming. Saturday is a not go to the gym lift weights day. It is simply a day that I take a walk. So I got my walk in this morning. I just finished getting ready because we have a busy day. Tori and I actually have tickets to some local drag races this afternoon. I have several coaching calls today. I have some taste tests to do. We have a lot going on today, so I wanted to make sure that I was up and at them and ready for the day. It is currently 7.58 a.m. I'm going to quickly make some breakfast before my 8.30 a.m. coaching call, but I wanted to, while I was welcoming you to today's video, share with you what makeup I'm wearing today because I get this question all the time, what lippy am I wearing? What eyeshadow palette am I wearing? Don't forget too that I do have a beauty channel. So if you love makeup, skincare, beauty, you wanna see a lot of tutorials, if you wanna recreate some of the eye looks that I do here on my channel, definitely subscribe to my beauty channel because I put out a ton of content. However, I thought I'd share with you quickly what I'm wearing today. So I have the brand new, just released, Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I This is what is on my eyes today, and I absolutely love this palette. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. It is perfect for fall and winter. There's a multi-chrome shifty shade here that shifts from like green to pink down in the corner. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then for my lips, because that is probably the question I get the most, I have the Buxom Dangerous Dolly Lip liner and the Tarte Man Eater Plumping Lip Gloss. That's all I'm wearing on my lips today. I love this combination. The liner is a little bit more pinky and deep and then you pop on this lip gloss and it gives you some shine, plumps up the lips, which I appreciate. So that quickly is the makeup that I'm wearing. So I'll link all of this down below for you, but I'm pretty hungry, so let's go make some breakfast. So I'm really craving my yogurt bowl for breakfast. This is something that I eat, I would say like three or four times a week. I really, really like this breakfast it keeps me full and satisfied I generally do my yogurt granola and some fruit but today we're gonna change it up just a little bit so we're going to start with some non-fat plain yogurt I've been loving the Siggies. There's 19 grams of protein in three quarters of a cup and only 100 calories. So this is the base of my bowl. I always just use plain nonfat Greek yogurt for lots of protein. And then I typically add two packets of the Whole Earth Sweetener. This is a blend of stevia and monk fruit. And I just like the little packets because it's convenient. And that's actually what I sweeten up the yogurt with. And then like I said, normally I do fruit, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, but I have have this no sugar added cherry pie filling left over from my ninja creamy video and I don't want it to go to waste so we're gonna do like a cherry yogurt bowl today I'm really excited about that so I'm going to add some of the no sugar added pie filling and then I always top my bowl with a little bit of granola any granola will work I get asked a lot what granola I use 
it depends. Right now I'm using the Members Mark from Sam's Club. This is their Honey Oat Granola. So this is the granola that I'm using. I'm actually going to add the last little bit to my container, but again, it's Members Mark from Sam's Club Honey Almond Granola. And then for some more fun, I'm going to top it with just a few of the Lily's chocolate chips so we can do a Black Forest yogurt bowl. Doesn't that sound so good? So let's put together breakfast. I always weigh everything on my food scale. You have to weigh and measure your food, especially if you're tracking calories and macros. So my food scale is one of my favorite things. And mine is actually from Costco. This is the Taylor brand. I do have a food scale linked in my Amazon store as well. I have both of them. I use them both. But I'm going to start with one serving, which is 170 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. So there's 170 grams on the nose. Add in my two packets of whole earth sweetener. And then I always give that a stir. I like to mix that sweetener in really, really well. And then for my cherry pie filling, I'm going to start with 30 grams. I wanna see how much that is. Okay, that's actually 50. So let's do 100 grams of the no sugar added cherry pie fillings. It's 93. Perfect, so 100 grams of the pie filling. So I added 15 grams of my Members Mark Honey Oat Granola, and then I'm literally going to add just a couple of Lily's Chocolate Chips on top for that whole Black Forest vibe. So here's my breakfast. Doesn't this look so delicious? It is packed with protein, which I love. I will go ahead and put points, calories, all of the macros here on the screen for you. I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast and hop on my first coaching call of the day. Quick little side note, this is the best yogurt bowl I've ever had. Highly recommend. The pie filling and the chocolate chips and the granola is this perfect crunch added to the yogurt. It is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly delicious. So definitely make this, definitely, definitely make this. I'll actually list out in the description box everything that's in here so that you can copy and paste it or print it off because it's really, truly good. Now I'm actually going to finish my breakfast, get on my coaching call. Three hours later. I just have one more coaching call before Troy and I head out to go to the drag races. We actually purchased tickets to some local drag races a few months ago. We just thought that it would be fun to be out in the sun and the loud noise of the races. We're gonna have some lunch at the drag races. So of course, I'll show you guys everything that I'm eating. I'm actually going to take my water with me because when we received our tickets, it said that we could bring coolers and snacks and things as long as there was no alcohol. So I'm really excited to be able to bring my water with me and have options of things to drink while I'm at the drag races. Before I hop on my call though, I have a new snack find for you that I'm really excited to share with you. It is from the brand Toodaloo. Is that not the cutest name ever? And these are snack mixes, trail mixes. You know that I am obsessed with trail mix. I talk about it all the time here on my channel. So I am really excited to give the four flavors of Toodaloo a try. These are genuinely healthy snacks loaded with protein. And you know that I have a big protein goal every day. So things like this come in really handy. Not to mention, I may or may not be throwing one of these little packets in my bag to take to the drag races because trail mix makes a really great on the go snack as well. Trail mix should be good for you, should be good for the planet and should fill you up. It should tide you over till a meal. It should be a well-rounded healthy snack and Toodaloo is just that. It's a ridiculously tasty cosmic trail mix with functional benefits such as supporting focus, gut health, energy, and skin so you can be the best version of you. Every order of their four tasty flavors heals both you and the planet by being packed with protein, superfoods, and magic herbs like reishi, lion's mane, and turmeric and by regenerating polluted farmland. So you get to feel really great about what you're eating and buying. They're all natural, totally delicious, and climate friendly snacks. They come in four different flavors. So we have hot to trot, slow your roll, smoke show, and turning heads. So let's start with smoke show. So this is a low carb barbecue mix of sprouted nuts and seeds, roasted chickpeas, smoky spices, chaga, and cordyceps to support energy flow. So this particular one, Smoke Show, is an adaptogenic trail mix that supports energy. There are five servings per bag. A serving is a quarter of a cup, 150 calories, and seven grams of protein. So in the event 
In the event that you ate the entire bag, you would get 35 grams of protein. That's incredible. Smoke Show is also plant-based protein, which is really nice for all my plant-based friends out there. Ooh, it smells incredible. Smoky barbecue. And here is what it looks like. Doesn't that look so good? So of course, we're going to test it out. I want to make sure that I get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Wow. That is really, really good. Plant-based, non-GMO, gluten-free, no refined sugars, and no refined oils. It tastes like smoky barbecue seeds, like pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. I get the chickpea. That gives a nice crunch to the trail mix. Ooh, it's really, really good. It's really good if you like barbecue, smoky, more savory snacks. And again, the smoke show is for energy. So if you get in that afternoon slump, this would be a perfect afternoon snack. Next up, we have turning heads. Now this is a rich cacao mix of sprouted nuts and seeds, chewy superfruits, coconut, hibiscus, sea buckthorn, and white rose to support skin health. Ooh, this sounds good, it has chocolate in it. So this one again is for skin health. There's four servings in the bag. It's a quarter cup per serving, 160 calories. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It smells so good. Can you see that? It's like chocolate clustered goodness. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. I mean, who doesn't love chocolate? This gives me tropical vibes. I get the dried fruit, I get that little bit of coconut. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Next up is Hot to Trot. Now this is their spicy mix, and you know I'm kind of a little bit of a spice wimp, but we're gonna try this. This is a spicy citrus mix of sprouted nuts and seeds, chewy superfruits, chilies, turmeric, which is great for inflammation. I do try to incorporate a lot of turmeric, and ginger to support gut health. So this one is designed for gut health. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells very lemony and citrusy. I'm ready for my tongue to tingle with this. We're gonna try it. But here's what it looks like. That looks really good. Kind of a, more of a nut-based mix. And like I said, it smells really, really good. Very citrusy. So immediately when I First put it in my mouth, I get all the lemon citrus vibes and it's incredibly delicious with that little back end of the fruit, the dried fruit, it's a little bit sweet and tangy, super, super good. And then after a second, the spice kicks in, but I'll say, and this is coming from someone who is a complete spice wimp, it's not bad at all. It's a little bit of a tingle on your tongue, but it tastes incredible. I mean, incredible. And again, supports gut health and gives you energy. And last but not least, we're trying slow your roll. This is a sweet maple mix of sprouted nuts and seeds, chewy superfruits, coconut, reishi, ashwagandha, and makuna to support relaxation. So this one is supposed to give you a little bit of zen, a little bit of relaxation. I forgot to tell you guys with the hot to trot, it's five servings per bag, quarter cup, 130 calories, and then that one has four grams of protein. And this sweet slow your roll is three and a half servings per container, quarter cup, 150 calories with three grams of protein. It literally smells like pancakes. Look at that, oh my gosh. It smells so good, so mapley and yummy. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. There's walnuts in here. Again, that dried fruit gives it some sweetness. Maple, maple, maple. If you love maple flavored things, you are going to love it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. There's over 30 superfoods in these four bags of the Toodaloo Trail Mix. I love that the ingredients are nice and clean and that they taste absolutely incredible. Every single one of these is amazingly delicious and healthy. I love that there's protein in here, there's nice clean ingredients, non-GMO, gluten-free, grain-free, plant-based, no processed sugars, and of course, environmentally conscious, which is huge. Toodaloo also has an OMG guarantee. If you don't love the product, they will refund you your money. That's how confident they are that you will love their trail mix. And let me just tell you, I love it. I've seen it at Sprouts. However, it is less expensive on the website. I'll link it down below with a discount for you. I'm definitely having a serving of one of these as a morning snack. 
So let's go ahead and rank these and then I'll let you know which one I'm having for my morning snack today. So I'm going to rank them from my least favorite all the way up to my favorite. So coming in number four is Smoke Show. Not that I didn't like these, but I want to be clear that every single one of these is really, really good. This particular mix, that smoky barbecue, just isn't my favorite. I like it. I will be eating this, but have to rank them and something has to fall at the bottom. Number three is the Turning Heads. Now these three, I loved every single one of them. It was really hard to rank them. This is the chocolate with the chewy and the coconut, the whole tropical vibe. I really, really like this one. I just like the other two, just a tiny bit hair better. Number two is Hot to Trot. Who am I putting a spicy mix towards the top? But the citrus flavor in this and that little back end of turmeric and the fact that it's spicy but not too spicy, I really liked this one. And then for my morning snack and coming in number one is Slow Your Roll. If you love maple pancakes, oh my gosh, this one is so good. I love the walnuts and the texture that it gets. So I'm going to have a quarter cup of this. Again, 150 calories, three grams of protein. Oh, it's so, so good. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh this out on my food scale. That's going to be my morning snack. And don't forget, I will link Toodaloo down below for you with a discount. Pick these up. You're going to love them. All right. I'm in the car waiting for Troy. We are heading to go to lunch and then to the drag races. So I brought my water. I did put some Mio water enhancer in here. I also brought a protein shake because we're going to stop and I'm going to get a some shots of espresso at Starbucks and take my protein coffee into the races. I guess we can bring in a cooler food, drinks. We just can't have alcohol. So I'm going to have a protein coffee, bring my water bottle, and then sunscreen because it's 90 degrees today. All right, are you excited to go to the races? Yeah. We've never been to this track before. We've seen it when we went to Crumble Cookies. We've seen it, but we've never been there. So we are going to go to a hot, is it a hot rod cafe? Like a hot rod cafe burger place for lunch, providing it's not too busy. So that is where we are headed. Of course, I'll show you guys what I'm eating, but we're going to the race. It's by Tucson Drake Strip. Yeah, Tucson Drake Strip. $3.99 a gallon for premium. Not bad, not too shabby. So we're having lunch at the Hot Rod Cafe in Vail, Arizona. Food and fuel, I was pretty excited because there's some old cars in the showroom. I think we're gonna go check them out after lunch. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. got my coffee it took almost 20 minutes for them to make my coffee literally the slowest Starbucks ever and they had to ask me what my drink was four times and I just ordered some shots with ice so I popped in my protein I forgot to share with you guys what I had for lunch but I had a kids cheeseburger no bun and like four french fries I was on the phone while I was eating so I forgot to record but we're on our way to the races <laughs> All right, we're back in the car. It is 92 degrees, so we're hot. We are just like two minutes from Crumble Cookie, so we're gonna go to Crumble Cookie. We deserve it after sitting out in the heat. And I will say, um, you can tie your hair up. I don't know if you can see with earplugs if nece if necessary. Did you have fun? She's hot. Ooh. It's hot. We had a fun time though. It goes to like eight o'clock tonight. I'm out. It's 4.30. So we've been here like two hours. That's enough for me. So off to crumble cookies we go. So here's the crumble cookie lineup. I got one French toast, one iced oatmeal, of course the frosted pink sugar cookie, and then this fruity pebble. So I'm so excited about these. We are home. We are home from the races. I'm here with my crumble cookies. As you guys saw, we went to crumble cookie. So we are going to do a taste test. I got the four pack, as you saw. There was a milk chocolate chip that I didn't get. And then there was like a everything but the bagel cookie. I don't know, that sounded a little bit weird. So we are going to taste test the four that I got starting with the Fruity Pebbles. So this supposedly is like a sugar cookie base with like a milky frosting and Fruity Pebbles. 
Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. It literally tastes like the milk with fruity pebbles and the pebbles on top are nice and crunchy. So it adds a little bit of texture. Delicious. And then the pink frosted sugar cookie. So apparently this is a new formula that they just recreated this particular cookie. I used to eat frosted pink sugar cookies all the time. So this will be up against those. That is delicious. The cookie is super soft. The frosting is nice and sweet. Oh my gosh, that's super, super good. And then I got the iced oatmeal because I love oatmeal cookies. And this one actually is served warm and it's still warm even after our drive home. That's really good too. That's very good. It tastes like just an oatmeal cookie with a little bit of icing. It's not super sweet because the icing is pretty thin on top. Really soft, really chewy, really good. And then we have the French toast cookie and this one has butter. Yeah, butter on top. So I want to get a little bit of the butter. It's a square shaped cookie. It's really soft. That, oh my gosh, the French toast cookie is so good, it's super soft. It kind of gives me cornbread vibes a little bit and that butter on top is like a honey butter. All four of these are super, super good. So we were literally like five minutes away at the races, so it made sense to go. So tonight's dinner, we ate out again. We went ahead and picked up Subway. So I have a six inch turkey with pepper jack cheese on honey wheat bread. I did light mayo, light, light mayo, mustard, Salt, pepper, vinegar, lots of veggies on here. So this is going to be my dinner, dinner from Subway. I am so excited. I got the mail when I got home from the races. And look at this, you guys. Smart Sweets came out with a new flavor. These are the Caramel Daydreams. Sweet and creamy caramels. Smart Sweet style. So they sent me, it looks like about six bags. I really think we need to test these out. Oh, and this is cute. They sent me this little notepad that says mindfulness check-in. And it asks you now I, how I feel right now. Calm, sleepy, hopeful, hungry. How I wake up feeling and a positive affirmation. That is so cute. And new Smart Sweets, caramel. So one gram of sugar. It's 140 calories for the bag. It feels like there's maybe six or eight in here. What do you say? We try one, we taste test it, we see how close these are to real caramels. So that's the size of them. Really good size. And let's see how many you get in a bag. So here's how many you get. It looks like two, four. So it's about seven caramels for 140 calories. That's not bad at all. Ooh, they smell amazing. Those are good. Oh my gosh, those are really good. They're kind of buttery, like good caramels are. You know how they have that butter? Kind of butter under note. Those are really good. No sugar added or no sugar alcohols, female founded, small business. These are delicious. I will go ahead and put the points and everything here on the screen for you. These were just released, but these are actually really, really good. I am surprised at how good these are. I was just at Target. These are not in stores yet. So if you're interested, you can order them off the Smart Sweets website, use my discount code and pick them up. Really good. I say 10 out of 10. I want to be there and baby dance tonight. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Coming along with me, eating out for multiple meals, crumble cookies. It was super fun. It was hot, but it was super fun. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us to the races and just overall, we had a really good day. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box. I'll link everything I shared with you today, any discount codes, all of my other favorite things. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I get asked a lot how you get macros and calories, one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's all on my website, which is linked in the description box. And of course, don't forget, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. I need a shower. I'm tired. I'm going to go relax, watch TV, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.